Okay, you should be live. Kick it. Hello! I am Tara from livingonadime.com, the Stop author it. of the Dining on a Dime cookbook, where you can eat better and spend less with our over 1,200 recipes and tips in our book that my mom and I wrote. Today I am talking about saving on your grocery bill and we actually need to change our thumbnail and title because in the end I was able to save these people over $510 what? from their budget. So yes, yes, yes. So I got an email about a month ago from a gal who said my grocery bill is $400 and I would really like to cut it back further. Now, I don't normally do this kind of thing because to be perfectly honest, people don't want to do the changes that I suggest that is going to take to do the grocery bill. But she said, no, I really want you to yell at me and get me into shape. <laughs> I can take it. I'm like, okay. So here so we go. She sent me screenshots. just <laughs> <laughs> She sent me screenshots of her groceries, what she ordered from Walmart. And then she sent me her, um, then she sent me her menus right here. And I think that's good that she has menus written out, but I will tell you, this is not how she's going to save money. Everybody thinks if they write out a menu that that is saving them money and it's not. Sorry. So, we're going to toss the menus aside and get to how to really save money. Also, also. Now. Also what? Please hold your questions till the end. Let her finish her rant first. <laughs> we are, we're under orders. Okay, yeah. so here's the thing. This is my notes right here. So you can see this is going to be a fairly complicated uh, go through. Because I went through, because she showed me every single thing she put in her cart okay now people ask me how much is a good price to pay for things um how do i know if i'm overspending that kind of stuff so i am gonna go through every page of her grocery bill and tell you what i spend and why i would not buy about half of the things she bought on her list now i will say that she um, also on top of spending $400 a month, which these two weeks were about $500 is what she spent. But on top of spending $400 a month, she also spends $80 a month for kids' lunches. What? At school, I guess. Yeah, but I had a cow. Uh <laughs> Dude, we pay like 50 cents per... No. I know. We spend about 50 cents on lunches for the kids. I'm now, I will say that she is working. She has four kids and a husband. She is working for 10 45 an hour, making about $300 every two weeks. And she went to work to mostly to get out of the house, but they put their kids in private school so that um she's working to pay for that but after i went through her grocery thing i asked if she wanted me to look at her budget and she said sure so they sent me her budget and between her groceries and her budget i found that she could cut 510 dollars without a whole lot of work um over 510 dollars i found in cuts so to put that in perspective she makes ten dollars and 45 cents an hour after taxes, because they're in the higher tax bracket, of course, they're going to be 25% taxes. So she actually makes $7.84 an hour. So she's not making $10.45 an hour. She's making $7.84 an hour, and she's probably making closer to $7 an hour by the time she pays for gas to get to and from work. She does not have daycare or any of those costs. So... To put this in perspective, she works 65 hours to pay for stuff that is almost a full month of working for things that she could just cut out of her budget, okay? Now, um, 
also a note on that, the reason why she wants to save money is because they think that their car is going to be dying soon and they have zero savings. Zero. Her husband makes about $50,000 a year. She showed me her whole breakdown. So I'm going to go through her groceries and her budget and tell you guys everything she can cut and what how I would do it if it was me. Now, she is only three hours away from me in North Platte, Nebraska. So it is a smaller town, but I went online and I looked at her grocery ads for a couple of weeks and I thought that I had several different ones printed and I didn't get them sent to my correctly. So that's my fault. But I did go and look and the prices that I'm gonna tell you, I actually saw at her local grocery store, not Walmart, at her local grocery store, okay? All right, so are you guys ready? Any comments before I get going? <clears throat> well, so Jules Pete says, I don't think $88 per month is excessive for lunch, but you're not talking about lunch for everyone. You're talking about lunch for lunch each child. Lunch for two kids for school is ridiculous. Yes, is $80 it, a month is ridiculous. For, for each one kids. or for both? Either for way. both. Okay. Well, I'm under the impression it was both. So we did it through. Now, as far as school lunches go, I could get that down to $30 for the two kids for lunches. How do we do that? A peanut butter and jelly sandwich, a clementine, and maybe a small thing of chips or crackers or cookies or something like that. Our lunches average about 50 to 60 cents per lunch. Kids don't need an all-you-can-eat buffet. Ooh, there man. You go. That, that will save and you like Dave's all profound the money today. And Elizabeth is gonna like what you have to say because she says it takes way too much time to use coupons. <laughs> yeah, and you can do all this without cutting coupons. I don't use coupons, guys. I don't. You I can think... save on your grocery bill without using coupons? Yeah. Oh, gotcha. You can save on your grocery bill without using coupons. And we have a link to do that, okay? Dining on a Dime Cookbook was written to teach you how to save money on coupons without... Save money on your grocery bill without cutting coupons and using coupons. Everything I did, I did without coupons in Dining on a Dime. And one more little notice real quick, guys, before um, I go into this. Homemade soap making supplies .com. Everything is 50% off. All my soaps, my soap making supplies I have left. That's the right code, right? Yep. Okay. <laughs> uh, no minimum order. I'm closing the shop Thursday. Is I'm not going to have any more orders, I don't think, after that. I don't think. I'm planning on Thursday. So get what you can, what's left. All right, here we go. So tossing out her menus. Her menus are not saving her any money, okay? Where her problem is, is shopping. All right, so first of all, we're just going to go down the list. And yes. you're sharing this because this is probably an issue for, virtual, for a whole bunch of the people, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like 90% of the people that email me that are having problems with their grocery bill, this is the problem. So anyway, <clears throat> all right. So right here, we're going to start with, we've got vegetable mix, hot dogs, and a pasta side dish. Now, what would I do in this situation? First of all, her vegetable mix is on sale at her local grocery store right there for um, $1.25 a pound instead of $1.60 a pound for what she paid. So I would buy five, I get my vegetables five for, a, or I get my vegetables for a dollar each. Usually they're 10 for a dollar, you know, at, at my store you can get however many you want, but I don't pay more than a dollar for my vegetables. Oscar Mayer Wieners right there she paid 10.96 she could cut that in half right there if she bought the walmart uh hot dogs instead of oscar meyer so if she got the walmart brand instead of the oscar meyer that could be cut right there in half are they okay? the great value ones or what yeah, the great value ones. Sorry to interrupt, but do on Facebook, is there a thing that's like choosing all comments versus just some comments? Because somebody's not seeing all the comments. Yeah, there's a little tab somewhere where you can do real-time comments versus top. And that's what you want is the real-time comments. Yeah. 
Okay, so next here we have Sara Lee Classic Dinner Rolls, Sara Lee Bakery Rolls, Petri, Far Petri Farm Classic Sliced Hot Dog Buns. Okay, right there. Now, I wouldn't purchase any of these items. The fancy hot dog buns, I would just get, the, I don't know why she has some fancy hot dog buns and some great value, but all the hot dog buns would be great value. I would not even purchase these dinner rolls. I would either make them homemade or 90 minute roll recipe right here, Dining Iodine Cookbook. Super fast, super easy. So she spent $10 on rolls that she could have made homemade in about 10 minutes with about five to 10 minutes worth of work, just double the 90 minute roll recipe. She would have saved herself $10 for 10 minutes worth of work that is equal to earning $60 an hour. Okay, let that sink in, $60 an hour, okay? Next. DJ, super chatted $2. Oh! Thanks, DJ. My DJ's behind the, the camera there. Okay, next. She now she also told me that in her her household they only eat fruits and vegetables for snacks. Okay, that seems noble, but here's the thing. There's a lot of junk food in here for eating just fruits and vegetables for snacks. So I would say that's sounding probably better than it actually is in real life. That's a great idea, but here's the thing. She paid $2.28 a pound for plums, Whoa. and then she paid $0.59 cents for bananas. Now, I wouldn't even buy the plums at $2.28 a pound. If my fruit is not around a dollar a pound, I don't buy it, period. Sorry. Where does she live? Nebraska. Okay. But it really isn't that urgent to specifically pin it to that place though, right? Why? Because what you're saying is relevant to everybody. Yeah. And well, we have proved over place. and over, we're going to do another show with my assistant Heidi, that prices are consistently the same across the country. Palm, Palm Springs, Hawaii, Anchorage, Alaska, New Jersey, Boston, all those places. We found the same prices, okay? So, I wouldn't even buy the plums. I wouldn't buy them at all. So, she can save right there on plums. She can save $1.28 if she would use apples or um, bananas instead of plums. What, Dave? Um, I was going to say, in other countries, it would just, you'd have to still convert, you know, all mm -hmm. of that. Over. Yeah, we're talking U.S. dollars and everything here, guys. Okay, so next. This is good. Great value potato chips. That's fine. Pre-package pre those and put those in the lunches. Here she has Pop-Tart, Pop-Tart, Pop-Tart. Now, it is the off-brand, so that's good. That's the Walmart brand. But you really don't need to be eating these things for breakfast in the first place. Now, I asked her why she bought so many Pop-Tarts because she has probably... In a month, she has a lot of breakfast convenience food. She's got, I don't know, probably six or eight boxes of granola bars and fruit bars. She's got three to four things of Pop-Tarts. She's got instant oatmeal. She's got buttermilk pancakes already made, um, stuff like that. So she has a lot of convenience bre breakfast biscuit type things. A lot of breakfast biscuits, pre-packaged breakfast junk food. Now, what would I do with the Pop-Tarts? I would not buy them at all. My kids get Pop-Tarts like once a year when they're on sale for 99 cents a box. I'll get them a few boxes. Wait, what? But we don't buy Pop-Tarts, okay? Barbecue potatoes. So, what would you okay can you do the camera over here a little bit dad's in my in my zone okay there <laughs> sorry i just keep hitting you and i don't want to knock your hand <laughs> <laughs> okay so i wouldn't buy these at all what would i eat for breakfast instead i would make homemade oatmeal which when i asked her about she said well i don't know 
how to make oatmeal, which is why she buys, well, we'll get to that, instant oatmeal. Okay, oatmeal is not hard to make. Just look on the back of the package right here. The directions are right here, okay? Now, having said that though, her instant oatmeal was only two cents more an ounce than this. So I'll give her her instant oatmeal, but the Pop-Tarts don't need to be there. What else could she make? She could make up a thing of muffins for breakfast. She could make up um, a thing of scrambled eggs with toast. She had some breakfast sausages. She could make some toast with one or two breakfast sausages for the kids. Anything like that. Homemade um, pancakes. Guys, pancakes really don't take that long to cook. So And they're easy. And they're super, super easy. Even okay. from scratch. Even from scratch. <laughs> All right, next. On here, she's got cake mix, M&Ms, pre-made um frosting more cake mix and pepperoni cake mixes i try to only buy cake mixes that i find on clearance after the holidays for 30 to 40 cents so that i would cut right there i would cut those if you can't dining on a dime cookbook right here we have how to make devil's food cake white cake yellow cake they're all in there and you can make a homemade cake for about 30 to 40 cents, 50 cents, somewhere 30 to 50 cents. Cut those and you can save 50 to 70 cents on those. Homemade frosting is super easy to make. It's three ingredients. It takes like two minutes Isn't it? and she could cut the frostings. Now, I didn't ask her why she has M&M Easter candies on here. Don't know what that's all about, but of course I wouldn't buy those. Um, pepperoni, I don't buy pepperoni either. Now, let's see her menu. So according to her menu, it looks like she might be using the pepperoni for pizzas. Pepperoni's expensive, guys. She got two of them for $7 right there. What would I do Ooh, instead? Wow. I'd make a hamburger pizza. I'd make a cheese pizza. I'd make a vegetable pizza. Or if you really, really want the pepperoni, then use a third to a half a package on a pizza so that each slice of pizza only really has two or three pieces of pepperoni. Your pizza does not have to be covered with pepperoni. That's how you save money right there. Use less of it, okay? Next, okay, let me take a, a breather. Go ahead, any questions real quick? Oh, we'll sure. Try it this way. Um... First of all, Donna, I love the 20th anniversary book. My husband likes the coffee cake recipe. Oh, and that's another good one. The coffee cake. Make it up the night before. Yeah. Kelly, is it worth buying in bulk? Um, Not necessarily, no. It's not. Costco and Sam's do not save you money. And actually, we have an article on our website called Are Warehouses, Warehouse Stores Wearing Out Your Wallet? Because people waste more money at warehouse stores than they actually save. And maybe I'll do a whole nother show on that. Uh, farmer market, farmer's market is a good place to get fruit and vegetables. No, not necessarily. It used to be that way, but now with a whole organic type thing, it's become more it does chic. not necessarily save you money. Now, when my daughter and I were in Pennsylvania, we went to some farmer's markets and it would have saved us money. But our farmer markets in Colorado are actually more expensive than just getting it at the store. So know your prices. How much do you pay for peppers? For me, three for a dollar is a good deal. Four for a dollar is a great deal. I found some in Pennsylvania for five for a dollar. That was a great deal. I would have stocked up. Another tip with farmer's markets is go at the end of the day and they may give you like a whole box. One time I got a whole box of peppers at a farmer's market for a dollar for the whole box because they didn't want to haul it home. So I came home and cut up peppers and I'm gonna talk about processing your own foods like cutting up peppers and strawberries. I did a video today on that that hopefully I'll get out in the next few days. Okay. Uh, oh, sorry. Denise likes your sweater. Thank you. Crochet Romance $3 greetings. $3 at the thrift store. Crochet Romance greetings from Italy. Love your show and have learned a lot from you. Uh, let's see, somebody else had a question I thought. 
can we freeze buns? I said yes. Yes, right? you can freeze buns. Yep. And Anita said I would also do the envelope budget. Budget. We don't do that, right? Okay. So here's the thing. These people do do the envelope budget, but I don't think that you should do the envelope budget. We did a whole video. Go look it up. It's called Stop Budgeting Now on YouTube. Stop Budgeting Now is the name of it. Go watch that video on why we don't do or think the envelope system is necessarily a good thing. Okay. All right. Next. She's got pre-made waffles, cream of wheat, Kix Crunch Cheerios. Now, when I emailed her on this and I said, you have a whole bunch of pre-made breakfast foods. And she said, convenience food. She said, well, do you consider instant oatmeal and cereal a convenience food? So let me tell you this is how I do it. I pay $1.75 or less for a box of cereal. If it is more than that, I do not buy it, period. We eat oatmeal, we eat scrambled eggs and toast, we'll eat um, sausages with uh, peppers and onions, we'll eat the breakfast sausages with um, toast, I'll make a coffee cake, I'll make pancakes, something like that. This, especially at her price, $3.98, $2.98, $2.98, at these prices, this is a convenience food, okay? If it's $1.75 a box or less, then it's a breakfast food. Now, I know that may be contradictory. I get all that. I have absolutely nothing wrong with people eating breakfast for cereal, for breakfast, or cereal, eating cereal for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I think that's fine. <laughs> But here's the thing, guys. I would never pay these prices. And I looked at her grocery store, and it wasn't this one. She did have cereal on sale in just the two weeks that I was able to look. So what do I do when cereal is on sale? I will stock up when, when Cheerios are $1.75 a box. I'll stock up for three or four months' worth. Then I don't have to buy Cheerios for a while. Yes. No, I was just going to say you'll buy like 20, yeah. 20 or 30 boxes yeah. of cereal at once. And we go through about a box a week of Cheerios is what we do. So I'll buy, I probably won't buy 20 or 30, but I'll buy 10 or 15 and that'll get us through three months worth until they go on sale again. Cream of wheat. If she would buy the off brand at the store, she'd save a dollar. Homemade pancakes, she would make, or homemade waffles, she would save $3.50. It is 50 cents to make them homemade. Wouldn't make that at all. Now, one thing on the breakfast thing. I asked her, why do you have so many convenience foods for breakfast? And she said, breakfasts are really hectic. Uh, or I mean, school mornings are really hectic, so I want easy breakfasts. And I said, well, why? What is so hectic about them? What? I mean, I, what's going on? Do you have a little baby or something that you're up all night? Now, she said she had insomnia. So what I would do is I would work on getting that figured out because there's no reason for you to have insomnia. There is something medically going on there. You need to get that figured out, and that will help with your mornings. But she said she's often open or up until 2 o'clock in the morning. So if you're awake at two, till 2 o'clock in the morning, take that time and get the breakfast ready for the kids. If you're up at midnight, make a coffee cake and have it ready sitting for the kids. Make the pancakes up and have them sitting out waiting for the kids. They can nuke them in the microwave in three hours when they get up, okay? Frankie Sherry says, we've saved $245 since we got the anniversary cookbook in the past almost two weeks. In two weeks they saved $245? Yes. Wow, almost that is two great. Weeks. <laughs> okay. Next one, chimichangas, Fritos, shredded lettuce, more fancy buns, and fancy craft cheese. So what would I do for these? I would make homemade chimichangas, super easy. You could make probably all of this for about 75 cents. I would not buy name brand Fritos unless they were on sale. I would get the off brand. If she gets the Walmart brand, she would save herself a dollar. Wouldn't get shredded lettuce, get a head of lettuce, shred it yourself. It takes just a second. And um, she would get more lettuce for the price too. She would save 
at least 72 cents on that. Well, that's just for one, so $1.50 for two. Once again, the buns, I wouldn't spend this much money. On the hoagies, I would get the other rolls for um, 30 cents each, and these are 50 cents each. White Craft American Cheese, I would get the off-brand, the Walmart. That will save you 20 cents right there. Next, and if you get the great big pack, like if you get the pack that's like $11 for the great big one, that's what I do. I get a great big pack of it, divide it up, put it into baggies, and then I save even more. Um, I would say I'd probably save $1.50 per packet on that. Okay, I'll give her her ham and I'll give her her lunch meats. That's fine. I don't know what the cups were for, so I didn't do that. Wait a minute. Now that I think about it, she's got plastic cups, she's got egg coloring, and vinegar all in the same thing. So, next time you're decorating eggs, I'm assuming these plastic cups are for egg decorating. If they are, don't waste money on cups. $3.17, are you serious? Get mugs, just your regular kitchen mugs, put it in your kitchen mugs, and then throw them in the dishwasher. If it stains your mugs, just put a little bit of bleach in there, it takes away. Now, I would not even buy egg dye new like this what i do is the year before and right now is a perfect time they always have egg dyeing kits on sale for 20 to 50 cents left over Thank after you. easter so i would save myself three dollars and what 40 cents well maybe not 40 cents three dollars and 30 cents and get my egg dye after easter vinegar you can use vinegar for everything so i'll give her that okay next kiwis I wouldn't buy kiwis for 40 40 cents each. I would wait until they go on sale for four four dollar and I would buy them then. Um, the apples for five pounds that's that's decent. Clementines I would not pay 648 for a bag of clementines. We wouldn't buy it until it goes on sale for three to four dollars is what we get here. Milk she's got milk for 243 each. But right here at her grocery store, milk is $1.99 right there, okay? Granola bars, once again, just breakfast junk food. I wouldn't buy that. I would do something else like eggs and toast, homemade pancakes, coffee cake, muffins, all these things you can make ahead of time. She does not work during the day. There's no reason why she couldn't during the day make it for the next morning. Perfectly okay. All right. Yes? No, nothing. Okay. Next, fruit bars, corn, potatoes, hamburger, and peas. Okay, so I'll give her the peas. That's a good price. The corn's a decent price. I would not buy these fruit and nut bars at all. Once again, just a breakfast convenience food. Potatoes, that's a crazy expensive um, for potatoes. I would just get some regular potatoes and roast them in the oven cut them up into little cubes, roast them, boil them, mash them, but don't buy frozen potatoes. Use, occasionally I'll buy frozen tater tots, but if I do, it's the off-brand. I wouldn't pay $2.69, so that's like $2 a pound for pre-made potatoes and you can get potatoes for like 25 cents a pound now here's the biggie this is the big one that i about fell out of my chair uh oh do you uh -oh. see a problem with this wait, 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 wait. what i see is yeah that what i see is your show about the hamburger what what okay so she just paid <laughs> let me get my nitroglycerin <laughs> $5.97 for one pound of hamburger. Oh my goodness. Okay, that is ridiculous. I would never pay $5.97 a pound for hamburger. The most I will pay is $1.99. It goes on sale every couple to three months. Make your own hamburger patties out of it. 93, we've already proven 93% does not save you any money if you two don't stop it. 
93% does not save you any money. Go back to my video. I don't remember what it was called. Oh, shoot. What was the name of that video? I can't remember. Some hamburger. Well, the thing is, uh, people will get it because they think it's healthier, but you can cook the fat off. And then it's yeah. not healthier. And we cook the fat off, and it is not healthier or cheaper to get 93%. So first of all, I wouldn't buy 93%. And second of all, I would not buy pre-made patties for $6 a pound. Okay, next. Um, it's called You Won't Believe Which Hamburger is the Best Deal. 73% you won't or 93%. Which hamburger is the best deal? Search that, and you'll find the video. Butter. I pay $2.50 for butter when it's on sale and I stock up so she could save herself a dollar, dollar fifty there. Hamburger helper. I don't buy these items. Now, I will say, guys, she said that this is survival. <laughs> this is her survival menu, meaning what? she thinks she can't cut this any less. So that's partly why I'm showing where you can cut more, okay? Mm -hmm. Hamburger helper. Wouldn't buy that. I would use our... Hamburger casserole, dining on a dime cookbook. And she can um, cut, she would say probably about, oh, $1.37, making it with pasta and um, tomato sauce. Doritos, once again, why are we buying the name brand? I would just get the off brand. I get people want those in their lunches and stuff like that. Okay, I'll give you that but at least get the off brand. Manwich, I would not buy Manwich. That is $1.78 each. You can make our Sloppy Joes in Dining on a Dime cookbook for about 25 to 30 cents. Which are basically the same thing. Which is exactly the same thing. And don't give me that excuse that it takes more time. It does not. It literally takes you one minute to pour the ketchup, brown sugar, and seasoning in. One minute. So it doesn't save you any time. Next, American cheese. Once again, I would not buy the Kraft. I would buy the off Walmart brand, and I would get the big $10, $11 uh, big thing of slices and cut it down. Tostino's penis, pizzas. I get it, you want a convenience food every now and then for dinner, but I would not pay $1.25 or so each. I would pay a dollar or less. We have them for 88 cents all the time. I try not to ever pay more than that. Once again, Oscar Mayer hot dogs. No reason to be buying the fancy hot dogs. Get the cheap one. Eggs. Just get the brown. 219 for eggs. And right here. That's 18 count, so that's probably about $1.75 or so a dozen. 89 cents a dozen at her grocery store right there. I would stock up for several weeks worth. And I mean, I would get six, eight, 10 weeks worth of eggs and stock up for that, okay? Bread, now she has a she has $1.38 for her bread. I'm not sure why her Walmart bread is so expensive. Mine is 88 cents. So that may just be a difference in stores. Okay, next. Once again, more granola bars. I would not buy those at all. I would just do something else. Or get, if you really want granola bars, then they're not here. But this week at her grocery store, they have granola bars on sale for 99 cents a package for the same size. So if you really, really need granola bars, then I would run over to Gary's and stock up on granola bars. You have a lot of granola bars on here, so you really like your granola bars. That's fine if you want to eat them, but instead of paying... Uh, $5.98 for, I think it's 18 ounces, go and buy, buy 99 cents, okay? And stock up for several months worth. Grapes, I would never pay $2.98 for grapes. That is ridiculously expensive. I went yesterday and I got grapes for 90, no, 88 cents a pound. There were twice as many there before, so. <laughs> the boys have been eating on them. I leave them out for the boys to eat. I got three packages of grapes yesterday because they were 88 cents a pound. And so that's our fruit with some clementines and strawberries this week, which I'll get into in a minute. All right, fully cooked meatballs. So the meatballs right here, are 
Eleven eighty-eight is what she paid. Oh shoot, where'd it go? Oh here. So she's paying three dollars a pound for meatballs. You can get a hamburger for a dollar ninety-nine a pound. Make your own meatballs, and you can save two dollars there. Muffins. I would not buy muffin mix. You can make homemade muffins for twenty to thirty cents, even with the chocolate chips. So I would cut out muffin mixes, dining on a dime cookbook, mom's sweet muffins, wonderful muffin recipe, super cheap. My um, basic muffins, super cheap right there. Next, Kraft macaroni and cheese. This was a big one. She paid $9 for 10 boxes of macaroni and cheese. That is crazy expensive, $9. That's 90 cents a box. Yeah. Oof. And this is her survival meal, okay? Buy, I went and looked. These prices were at her Walmart, guys. All these prices were at her Walmart. You could look online. I looked. She can save $6 on 10 boxes if she gets the off-brand Walmart. She can take that from $0.90 cents down to $0.30, cents, 30 to $0.50 cents for macaroni and cheese. No reason to be buying the name brand. Once again, more breakfast biscuits <laughs> this family has a lot of breakfast foods <laughs> more breakfast biscuits um i just once again would not buy those at all um mozzarella cheese she has it here but i found it on her whoops where to go okay well it didn't print out but at her local grocery store right here she had cheese for, um, where'd it go? Well, it was $1.50 a pound. I was just making sure, but I know it was $1.50 a pound. So instead of paying $4 a pound, she could get it for $1.50 a pound. Once again, you can stock up on cheese, throw it in the freezer, and it's great. Okay, next, milk, once again. Back to milk, $1.99 right there on sale. So she doesn't need to be paying $2.50, $60, dollars a gallon. She can save right there. Blueberries. I would not buy blueberries for that price. I wait till they go on sale here in July and I pay a dollar a pound. She was paying $2.30 a pound. $2.30 a pound, so she could save $4 by not buying blueberries, waiting till they're on sale, getting a whole bunch and freezing them. It's the same exact thing. Once again, more breakfast biscuits, would not buy those. More Tostinos, I would wait on those. Now, the instant oatmeal. Yes, I do consider this a convenience food, but this is one of those cases where it's only a couple cents more for instant oatmeal if you get the Walmart off brand, okay? If don't be buying, don't be buying Quaker. There's no reason to buy Quaker. Just get the Walmart brand. Um, and it's only a couple cents more, but I would never buy the expensive brand unless it was on sale for a really good price. Once again, I would not buy Doritos for that. I would not buy Cheerios for that price or mini wheats for that price. And I would not buy a fresh cantaloupe this time of year. I would wait till July, get a whole bunch of cantaloupes, cut them up and freeze them. Popcorn chicken. She is paying $3.80 a pound to have pre-cut up chicken. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Our King Supers gives you like a whole package of it for a dollar. Yeah. So she could it's buy. Cooked. It's cooked for a dollar. Yeah. So you can buy this from the deli cheaper, but mm -hmm. I would just get chicken and cut it up and have it again. Once again, I wouldn't buy manwich. Manwich. Here's the next one. Strawberries. Manwich. Two. Oh, man. 70 or 80 for strawberries. Holy cow. I about fell off my chair for this one too. Strawberries are on sale for two pound packages for two dollars this week. Once again, I did a video. I'm gonna have that come out later this week. I bought four, I bought 28 pounds, 14 packages. I bought 28 pounds of strawberries. Today it took me 40 minutes to cut, wash, and throw them in baggies to freeze. 
I made over $60 an hour by, by um, doing that. So what's seven divided by 60? You mean 60 divided by seven? 60 divided by seven. Uh, eight, be eight. eight. eight, eight so something. she would have to work eight hours to pay for the same amount of strawberries. She would have to work eight hours to pay for that. Okay. Next, I don't know why this, I can't believe it's not butter spray is here because her other thing showed cooking spray here. So I don't know what the deal is with that. She is on Weight Watchers, so maybe that has something to do with that, but I would not spend that amount for that. More granola bars, and once again, cut those out. More clementines, once again, I would cut those out. Now, if you do all of those tips and tricks, you will save 40, 100, and I said 143, but when I went back and looked, I re-looked, it's actually $148 for, um, for the stuff. And so $148, now let me find my, okay, my notes here. Um, so $148, so here's the thing, oops. So for $148 divided by seven is what? Do the calculator real quick if you can't do it in your head. Wait, what? It's 21.1666. <clears throat> so she has to work to buy all of these convenience foods and prepackaged stuff. And what was the number? 148. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to test me to make sure. Divide by 7. 21. Yeah, 21. You were close. It's 21.142. So, oh, I was off by point. Two, four. <laughs> <laughs> so she has to work 21 hours. Work 21 hours to pay for these small changes in just switching from name brand foods to um, the store brand foods or generics or waiting for your foods to go on sale and stocking up. She could easily cut almost $150 off her grocery bill. Now, as we were doing this, she sent me her budget. Oops, where'd it go? She sent me her budget and wanted me to look at her budget because she said that they just had everything. They can't cut anything. They've got it all budgeted out. They've done Dave Ramsey's thing. So I was like, okay, send me your budget. <laughs> so. Oh wait, we're continuing the budget? I was looking at her budget. And here are some things that, because they're doing Dave Ramsey, they have budgeted. Once again, just because it's budgeted doesn't mean you have to spend the money on that. There are tons of ways that you can save, and just because it's in the budget doesn't mean it's okay to spend the money if you're trying to save up or whatever. So, what are some things that they could cut? They have Hulu for $15, Netflix for $15, Amazon, this is a month. Amazon Prime for $15, Amazon Music for $20, iCloud for $1, Weight Watchers for $20. Her daughter has a phone. Daughter can pay for that $25. They have $79 left over and then they have $70 cash left over at the end of the month. They also spend $80 a month on clothes. They could cut that back to fifth to um they could cut that back to $500 a month a year which would be about $40 a month. If they cut the school lunches down from $80 down to 30, they would have $510. Wow. Two months time, they could have $1,000 saved up. Two months. So were those school lunches that the school made or school I think, made? I don't know. I assume it's school lunches, but I don't know. Hmm. I assume it's that they're buying them at school, but I don't know. Yeah, Heather says that's a lot of entertainment. Yeah, I think people don't really realize, and this is the catch for a lot of these places where you, you're you automatically billed every month is, I think people don't realize they don't watch all of these entertainment yeah. options usually. And, what do yeah. you and if you watch Netflix one, together? yeah, if you watch, if you watch one of them a couple times a month, is it worth it? Yeah. And so. so here's the thing. And oh, and one other thing. They had um, like 60 or $80, I can't remember the exact number, for pets a month. 
I was like, why is your pet thing so high? Well, we've got like four cats and two dogs or something. Okay, guys, I can't remember the exact number. But guys, listen, if you are in debt and you are paying off your bills, do not be getting more animals. Okay, I'm waiting for all the tomatoes to come flying at me. Uh, oh. How many rotten tomatoes am I going to have? Here's the thing, guys. I'm sorry. Pets are nice, and that's fine. But first of all, there's no reason to have more than one. And secondly, when you just keep adding those expenses, you are not taking your debt seriously to get it paid off. If you're paying cash for everything, that's totally fine. Oh, shoot. But if you are serious, you're going to cut out all of these extra Amazon, Netflix, the daughter doesn't need a phone, cut down the clothes and get, and oh, and one other thing um, for medical, they had contacts. You don't need contacts, guys. You don't, contacts are not a need. There's another $20. So if you're Jake really, glasses. really serious. Zenioptical.com. Very good, Dave. <laughs> nice yeah. plug. $15 right there. We need them to sponsor. <laughs> I, I know. I yeah. wish they would. Um, contacts are not a necessity. Zenioptical.com is where we have been purchasing our glasses for 15 years. I do not pay more than about $40 a year <laughs> for all of us glasses. I'm just messing around. Well, can't, contacts, so, you can't just do that. So, for your budget, <laughs> Miss North Pat, Nebraska, that is how I went through and looked at everything. I hope you're still speaking to me. But mm -hmm. I am very thankful that you shared all your information because I think this really helps our viewers kind of see things that they hadn't seen before. Awesome. I think a lot of times people just don't see what they're doing and so um yeah so anyway on to the questions here we go all right <clears throat> um no life 2692 how much was the person's total food bill in a month four hundred dollars she said but she sent me five hundred dollars worth of two we four weeks worth of walmart groceries and no life 2692 makes uh, makes a lot of food from the book to save mom money and is in the 10th grade. Like, wow! Like, good job! Like, yay! Impressive! That's impressive! Like, Which more 10th graders were like. <laughs> yeah, and we have meatballs in Dining on a Dime. I forgot to mention that. We have really super good my grandma's meatballs in Dining on a Dime. Wait, yep. they did what? Um, cook a, a lot of food prep out of the book, so yay! Um, Karen, is it better to freeze a brick of cheese and then shred your own? Ours no, not the, necessarily. Ours here, I think, is about the same mm -hmm. price shredded yeah. already. Just know your price per pound. Yeah. The one thing I noticed, though, here is in our Kroger store, sometimes the 8-ounce one is cheaper, sometimes the 16-ounce one is cheaper, and sometimes mm -hmm. the 32. Yeah. You have to just do the math to figure out by the ounce. And what I do is I have prices memorized, so I know I won't spend more than X amount on cheese. Usually it's around $2.50, $3 a pound is what we spend, $3 a pound on cheese, excuse me. But I know I'm not going to pay more than a dollar a pound for any fruits or vegetables, period. I just won't do it. We won't eat it that month. We'll either eat frozen that I have from before, or we'll eat canned, or we'll eat something cheap like apples, bananas, oranges, that kind of thing. So Lori says, $40 a year for how many glasses? Uh, six, because we don't get everybody a new pair of glasses every year. Yeah. Um, Donna Marie, my library in New York has DVDs you can borrow for free, not to mention books. Yep. Yes, we, so we've got, did you say what we do with that? We've gotten a lot of stuff at the library. We do have Amazon Prime. Mm -hmm. We in the past have had Netflix. We do not now. Uh, sometimes we watch things on YouTube and uh, there's just a variety of other places where we find stuff, but we don't have. Also, if you guys need clean movies, go to Living on a Dime on YouTube, click on playlists, and I have a couple of playlists of movies. One is clean movies, one is comedy, let's see, one is clean movies and one is comedies. So Rebecca wants to know, do we have a granola bar recipe in the book or the new book yes. that's coming? Yes, we have a granola bar right here in Dining on a Dime cookbook. 
Let me reshare that link. Frankly, guys, though, granola bars are just cookies. So just make an oatmeal cookie recipe and have your kids do that. Throw in some raisins, throw in a few almonds if you want. They're pretty much the same recipe. Basically, it's the same recipe. Yeah. yeah. Granola bars are just cookies that are rectangles. These are our soaps that I made up with a batch that I had to remake. Homemade soapmakingsupplies.com. My soaps and soap making supplies, everything I have left is 50% off with no minimum. And she's zipping I'm, it up. I'm selling out quick, so if there's something you want, I do still have um, some of my Dead Sea Salt scrub because I had a big bag of de Dead Sea, a huge bag of Dead Sea Salt, and my goat milk cream. This, if I don't sell out of, I won't be sad because it's our favorite. <laughs> we <laughs> love it. It is the best ever. Our hands have never been so moisturized. Yay. Hey, Crystal wanted to know, do you know if the person you were talking to implemented some of your suggestions? Not yet, because I told her I was going to do all of it on the show. But she did. I did mention all of the Netflix and Weight Watchers and all of that stuff. And she said, oh, she said, yeah, we really probably don't need those. So she was very, very good about saying that they were going to talk about in implementing some of those things and the reason why I don't normally do this is because people don't want to do it well and it's funny some of the people were yeah. saying uh, they they usually have off-brand this or that but I just have to have ranch dressing or I have to have Cheerios or something the and that's is, fine if you have to have if there's like one or two if there's because like I prefer regular Cheerios yeah but, but we get them on sale for $1.72 and I stock up yeah and, and I don't get them until Tara finds them that way mm -hmm. and yeah. or if I really was desperately wanting to have them all the time, which she'd probably buy a bunch of boxes when yeah. they're really dirt cheap. And but. like he loves Hershey syrup. Well, I ain't gonna pay full price for Hershey syrup. So guess what he gets for his birthday and Father's Day? Hershey syrup. It's a gift. It's not a need. It's not so, something you normally get. Pam says, Yay, made the live show twice now. Oh, thanks. Cindy loves the daffodils. Thank you. Um, you probably can't see. Well, it's done now. We we're supposed to have a great blizzard. It didn't end up coming, but no, it's still snowing. I picked all of my daffodils because they were going to get frozen tonight. So it's still snowing. Oh, New York Home Center said oatmeal is a great breakfast. You know, yeah. I have to say it's not perfect to do it this way, but I told Tara we have this uh, teapot that this electric teapot here that we just stick, fill it up with water and stick it on the thing and turn it on. It boils water in like a minute. I'll turn it on. I'll go in the other room. I'll come back in here. I'll just pour it over some oatmeal and it. It's not as good as putting it in a pot because the consistency is a little different, yeah. but but I it's easy and fast and I'll just do that. Yes, Debbie, our, we ship to Australia, Dining on a Dime Cookbook right here. We do ship to Australia. The shipping is $23 to Australia though. Yeah, sadly <clears throat> that's the actual cost of the shipping. We ship pretty much anywhere in the world. Um, and if your, country, if, you, if your country, if you can go mm -hmm. add to the cart, most of the countries that people ask about, we already have on there. But if yours does, if it says we don't ship to your country, contact us because that's yep. not in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what is the name of the hamburger casserole? It's hamburger casserole in dining it on is a dime. Really delicious. Really super good, <laughs> cheap. Um, let's see, it is on page. Um, what page? Hamburger casserole. I'm almost there. Hold on, I'm almost there. I can't get it. Hamburger casserole, two forty. Page 240, 20th anniversary edition. Oh, do we tell them what we found in the garage? Uh-oh. <laughs> Not yet. Sophia, yeah. muffins sound good. So there's, we have, so we have a couple muffin recipes. Which one? Yeah. One, sweet muffins and Yeah, one? basic muffins and sweet muffins in here. Yep. Somebody was asking, uh, Cora, sorry, but what is cream of wheat? Uh, ground up wheat and it's like creamy. A lot of babies will eat it. It's really thin. Yeah. Uh... Andrea, homemade pancakes are so easy and good. Didn't realize how good they were until yep. this last weekend. Ran out of mix and made some of a random recipe online. You should have made them out of dining on a dime. <laughs> uh, Ricky, is it better to make a meal plan for the week and then plan out your list, but first set up an amount first? How much would you say a family should spend for a family of four? So here's how I do it. I do not have menu plans. What I do is I only buy foods or try to only buy foods, not 100%, probably 80% of the food I buy is on sale 
and I restocked my pantry. So most people eat the same 10 foods for summer and 10 foods for, so for winter. So I restocked when boneless chicken breasts are $1.49 to $1.67 a pound. I will stock up for eight, 10 weeks worth of boneless skinless chicken breasts. When I find thighs and drumsticks for 39 cents a pound, I'll stock up again several. Um, so I refill my pantry and then I cook out of what is in my pantry. When I run out of something, I don't go to the store and buy it unless it's for a show, unless it's for a show recipe. But everyday recipes, I do not go to the store. I see what I have in my refrigerator and freezer that needs to be used, and I use it. <laughs> Jean says, we cannot send cookies to school for snacks, so rectangular cookies. <laughs> well, there you go. That's what's funny That's about, what's them, so stupid. about them saying, oh, only healthy foods, because you send the granola bars. <laughs> it's so stupid. It's a big It's cookie. absolutely stupid. So, awesome. Um, Wasn't there something no, about... Um, a stick being a weapon in school, but then they have sharpened pencils. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't make my own laundry soap. It, my family doesn't, we don't like, I don't like it very well for us. It depends on your water, where you're at. It's what I've noticed. People who really love it, they have water that it works better with than people who don't. So Valerie says, make omelets and muffin tins, yep. freeze them, Great freeze idea. them and egg and sausage wraps freeze mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. Kayla, I'm a meat hoarder when it goes on sale. I can't resist. I yep. haven't bought full price meat in forever. We have I never. never buy full price meat. Never. As a matter of fact, tonight's dinner right here, <gasps> I had in the freezer, but tonight's dinner is a roast chicken that I paid um, 67 cents a pound for. Right here, 67 cents a pound. I'm going to take some frozen broccoli and cook that. And then Dave grabbed the strawberries out of the fridge. And then oh. those strawberries that I paid a dollar a pound for, I uh, have them in the fridge here. We're going to have that. We're going to have some rice. And let me show you. So I just cut them up, put them in the fridge. We're not going to eat all of these in one setting. This is for several days worth of strawberries. It's sugar. So I put a little bit of sugar on there and... These, this will be three or four or five days worth of strawberries. Yum, yum, yum. So. Uh, Jacqueline seems like she's just lacking a few simple cooking skills. Cooking at home would save tons of money and time. Yep. Well, mm -hmm. I think people yeah. think that it's fast, uh, much faster to buy all that other stuff, but really it's not. And that's yep. what we're trying to show you when we make stuff on the show. Yeah. Joetta, can you discuss special allergy diet needs? No. I just need to modify it to, to what yeah. you know for your, whatever your issue is. It's the same principle. Is I'm that, on dairy-free, gluten-free. It's the same principle. You can just substitute out yeah. ingredients and there's actually a substitutions chart mm -hmm. in the book. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it should yeah. make it really easy. Yep. Uh, Somebody said about toilet paper, towel, paper towels, napkins is a big part of my grocery, but we have a video okay. on that. Okay, that is not groceries. That is um, household goods. And I use about six paper towel rolls a year for my family of six. And so that's really, really fairly cheap. Use rags instead of paper towels. Toilet paper, we have a big family. We go through a lot of toilet paper. I won't deny it. We did a great toilet paper test for the betterment of mankind 2018. Which toilet paper is the cheaper is the name of the video. It's on YouTube. You can go watch that. Mike got to be the tester. <laughs> Nancy, meatballs and dining on a dime are to die for. Thank you. They are awesome. Yep. Listen, guys, on the name brand things, once again, that's fine. But everything doesn't need to be name brand. If and everything I would is do, name brand, you're too picky. Yeah. And I would do a taste test and blindfold yourself and have your kids test which one's the name brand and which one's not and see if you actually can taste the difference. Like ranch dressing, Dining on a Dime Cookbook has a wonderful ranch dressing recipe and I have tons of viewers that say they won't eat anything else but the homemade ranch well, dressing. It's super fresh too. Yeah. Um, Luann, uh, sorry, Luanna, Luann, I make... Homemade biscuits so much better. And then yeah. Lynn says, I only make Mike's biscuits. Oh, Danny, Thank you, Lynn. I right appreciate there. that. And Stormy wants to know, where's your white coat? Oh, it's in the laundry. I need to wash it. I made soap with and it and I haven't got done. She's feeling very sick today. So. Oh, I'm sorry, Stormy. I hope you start feeling better soon. Uh, 
All right. Let's see. You want to see what we have over here? Anything you want to check? Anything over here? I went to make your barbecue sauce from your cookbook, and I had no liquid smoke. What can I substitute for liquid smoke? You really can't substitute anything for it. That's one of those things that you can't substitute really for, unfortunately. <laughs> if you so if if you have a problem with basic cooking and you don't know where to get recipes and you don't have this book. This book will save you having to buy a lot of other books. Yeah. <laughs> so, let's see. Serving sizes that some call normal are outrageous. Two of us eat less than one serving many times. Yeah. So have to eat. yeah. We, we actually, I never thought I'd be that guy. <laughs> but we share almost every time we go to the restaurant now. Because yeah. I realize, man, this is enough food for at least two people. And this chicken here, right here, this chicken for dinner. Which isn't that often, by the way. <laughs> we'll have a... A leg, one person will have a leg, one person will have a thigh, then the breast I will save and will make green chili, or I will make chicken soup, or something like that, uh, more chicken with rice. I will get three to four meals for my family out of this one chicken that I paid $5 for. So, yeah. Uh, I think it was Anne, it just went off the screen, asked, uh, how much is your goat's milk? Soap with shipping, do you still have any? Um, I don't know what I have left. Homemade soap making supplies.com, 50% off. Anything that's left, no minimum order. You'll just have to go there and look top right and see what I have left. I don't know what I have left. If you ordered, I am shipping this week and I hope to have everything out by Saturday. But guys, I have over 200 orders waiting. No, I have 300 orders waiting. I have over 300 orders waiting, and it's only me, so please be patient. I am trying to go as fast as I can, but if you ordered, it will be shipped within the next six to seven days, hopefully. Um, Lisa, how many meals are you getting out of that chicken? Three to four. Kelly, is there a substitute for evaporated milk? Not really. It depends on what you're using it in. Like if it's meatballs, you can just use regular milk. Nebo, have you guys noticed how all brands of TP are about an inch skinnier? Yeah, I noticed that cereal boxes are getting thinner too from front to back. Yeah. Uh, are we living a zero waste lifestyle? No. <laughs> Our oh trash is full, but you know, that's well, we two businesses, waste, but we don't We waste, we don't a, lot waste a lot less than yeah. most people, yeah. We look at our neighbor's trash and we're like, okay, we don't have soda boxes. We don't have gummy candy or gummy fruit snack boxes. We don't have, you know, all this prepackaged stuff that a lot of people have. But because and we have two businesses. Us so, and two businesses yeah. and we use about, we use less trash for all that than most of the families mm -hmm. in our neighborhood use for just the family. Yeah. Guys, Dining on a Dime Cookbook has a great pizza dough recipe. You will love it. Everybody loves it who makes it. Cool. Uh, did you want to, what was it you were asking if we want to talk about? Me? Yeah, you said, oh, do we want to mention, oh, what oh. I found. <laughs> no, oh, well, no, I forgot. It's anybody. not listed yet, is it? So we shouldn't say no, anything. Okay, never just... mind. We won't tell you what we found. Should we say what we found last night? Okay, so make this short because we're going to do a video on it. But our trip. <laughs> so we were getting ready to book are after spending three hours no six no four hours after spending four hours planning out our trip we went to go book all of the places we found for our trip oh, and we oh. went to go look and airbnb said it was going to be like two hundred dollars for one place to stay or a hundred dollars for a place to stay the two hundred dollar place when we clicked book now jumped to five hundred dollars a night and we thought, whoa, did he raise the price? Because uh, we opened up a tab and we had it all sitting there with the, with the price. And it was the same $200. And we did that with all of them. And then when we went to click book, it suddenly jumped to $500. And I thought, did he change it in the half hour while we were kind of looking through that other stuff? So then we went to look at another one because we thought, well, we'll add that one and then we'll figure out something else here. And the, that one did the same thing. It went from like uh, $89 to $250. And we thought... What? So we're unhappy with Airbnb, and we're gonna mm. we're gonna describe that in a in a yeah. video before too long. Yeah, Della. Um, we so have we, a series on 
if you only have $100 a month, my mom spends $80 a month on food. And go watch that series. It's $80 a month on food. We're not done with it yet. So, guys, we are looking for other places now, trying to decide if we can even do our trip because it jumped by many thousands of dollars when we did that. It jumped by 150%. <laughs> Holy moly. So, we are going to look at other places. We did have one wonderful viewer who offered us her place to stay at. She has an empty house, which was so thoughtful, and we may take her up on it. And we may just maybe go to her place. In like Scotland or something, maybe Norway. I don't know. We're still Norway wasn't. George was still asking. <laughs> Norway wasn't quite as bad as Ireland and England, but we've got to make the well, decision cool here in the next couple there. of days. Yeah. Actually, Torrid, you should you should message Tara afterwards because we had a question for you about that. What I did, I've been messaging her oh, have all you? day. Oh, okay, you did already. About what? Just about like if that one is too far or it's in the Oh, I didn't do that one or... house. Yeah, I didn't do that one house we found. Yeah. So, uh, now, it, yes, Marie, it is more expensive because of the time of year. The issue that we had with Airbnb was that they listed the one price until you're actually about to click pay, mm -hmm. and then they list the higher price. And we put the correct dates in. We put all the correct mm -hmm. information in. Yeah. And so we kind of felt like it was a bait and switch because by the time you, you're at that point, it, you have to really pay close attention to look again and notice that the price has gone up by 150%. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and the goat milk lotion is homemadesoapmakingsupplies.com. Click on my soaps on the top right and you can go see what I have left. Yeah, so we weren't, it wasn't the price wasn't the issue as much as the fact that they just didn't yeah. tell us the right price. Mm -hmm. Well, we spent yeah. all that time working on it. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. And we know we've lived in a tourist town, so we know prices go up during the summer. We get that, but. All right. Let's see. Yes. Off season can be cheaper. And we usually, well, we haven't traveled very much, but the times when we've had the best experience was traveling yeah. in the off season. So yeah. Lynn. Yes. I should be able to fulfill all the orders. I should be able to, um, yours is going to be first tomorrow that I'm packing. Cause you have so many orders. Lynn ordered and ordered an order. Her and Christine were, were neck and neck. They both have like 10 orders each. <laughs> CO, Thank you. CO, we were kind of looking at VRBO and I'm not familiar with Home Away, but we'll look for that. We also found out one of the guys, the host that we had been with before, he told me he really likes booking.com better. <laughs> so um, so we're, we might look at that as well. So. <laughs> hmm. Wow. Yeah, Julia, we forfeited vacays for 25 years and paid off $118,000 yeah. on our house instead. Yes. We did too. We did too. Yep, we did too. And this was just, this is kind of the idea is to have this be a big 25th anniversary mm -hmm. paying off the house kind of thing. So, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, okay, well. Does this lotion calm me? Yes, it does. It just smells so good. <laughs> she says you smell it a lot, LOL. I need it. I just love smelling it. It's the oatmeal and honey. And this one is mine, by the way. It's not a for sale one, just so you guys know. Funny thing is, Tara likes all kinds of smelly things, and she mm -hmm. makes them. She's made them ever since I've known her. Yeah. Like, when I first met her, she was making um, potpourri mm -hmm. and selling it by the scoop. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> um... So we are going to be doing more on groceries, guys. I'm going to be doing several videos, one on how to eat for $10 a week, how to eat for $20 a week. And so we're going to start focusing on those again because Dining on a Dime Cookbook, guys, I know I keep pushing it, but you can save money with these tips, and it's super, super easy. So, Marie, June is cheaper than August. Although Ellie and I went two years ago in April, and it was a lot cheaper in April. Yeah. So... Although there yeah. might still be a possibility for now. We're going to take a look and see. Wait a minute. Can I explain again how I get three or four meals out of the one chicken? So we have chicken and rice the first night, and then we'll have chicken and rice the second night maybe again. Then I will boil the bones and make green chili or chicken soup out of the bones for the broth and the meat that's left on the bones for the second night. Sometimes I get a fourth day with a little bit of leftover chicken and we'll have like chicken and noodles or something like that. Chicken or chicken tacos. tacos. Uh, tourist is okay. I wonder if she's talking to us. <laughs> yes. 
Yeah, we were kind of excited about that too, Torrid. Uh, let's take a look over here and see if there's anything that we didn't already answer. Oh, simply Tarn. joyful. Yes, thank you, Tara and Mike. My husband just brought it in the mail and it was on the front porch. Yay! Yay! I'm glad you were able to get it. Good. Yeah, a couple people say they're they're excited for the possibility of a cooking basic series. Yes. So I am working on that. I've already actually done two videos today for that. Didn't know I did that, did you? I did not. I'm not even listening. Shayla Cooper just joined <gasps> in. Shayla Cooper! Let's see. So we else? may or may not be going now, Shayla. I'll have to tell you what happened. So <laughs> Mike was like, <laughs> so, we'll, we'll have to reapproach uh, it. They, everything doesn't have oatmeal, but um, if you're totally allergic, I probably wouldn't buy it just because there could become some cross contamination. Marie, we were looking uh, outside of Inverness. There's a place there we really like that we may still get mm -hmm. if we can work out everything else. Yeah. So. Yep. Yeah. All right, guys, please like, subscribe, and share. Please check out our Dining on a Dime cookbook. And if you can't afford it, we have thousands of videos you can watch, and we have thousands of free recipes and tips on our website, livingonadime.com. Please like, subscribe, and share, and give us a big thumbs up. We will see you guys Wednesday. Also, don't forget homemadesoapmakingsupplies.com, 50% off everything going out of business for the summer. I want it all gone. So 50% off with no minimum. We'll see you guys so you're Wednesday. sacrificing. I am sacrificing, <laughs> yep. Cut to the bones. <laughs> I know. Yes. Bye. <laughs> you can blah, 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 blah. Okay, I'm cutting it now. You need to be fair to Airbnb. I got news for Airbnb. Oh, man. There yeah, it's not. Yeah, because... there's...